Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can check the application logs of OData data services that uh, probably you, you can you are using as a Fiori or something also. So how we can check the application log so that you know you can monitor what's the problem happening. Okay, so you go to slash n and this is the transaction code. I'll just mention it. Okay, uh, so here you can see this is already pre-populated. So I'll just change this date to probably, I'll make it, I want to see some data. So I'll put one month data. And so <clears throat> here you can see only very important logs, only important logs, all less important logs. So you can just, I can click all important logs. Okay, only message of type. So here I can see all the things that is happening in this case. Okay, so here you can see this is the technical messages what is the error and all those things you can, you name it, you can get all the metadata access, or data service, or data library and all those things. So if I see these probably are related with, uh, with attachments or something. So here, these are some of the stuffs that it's very useful and you can analyze further what are the problem is there. Okay, so here you can see, you have to just drill down, drill down and get all this information. So if you click further you'll get all this so this is very helpful in our, in getting the application log so if i click on this display display the technical information choose a message okay this is the technical information and if i click choose a message or log number okay which is the message or log number message access and if i double click on it probably i'll get it um, Okay, still not giving. Instance ID, probably this is the number. Just choose a message or okay, whatever it is. So here you can get all this information pretty easily. And if I click on it and I click on this, I choose a message or lock. So it's the same thing, probably I don't. So long text, you can click on what is the problem. So I think I don't have the proper authorization, but still, this is the transaction code that you can use again if i go back hit the back button and here i can only see um, only information logs all logs if i say very important logs okay so if i click on that no found that's that's a good sign okay because we don't have anything if i put number one one four we don't have anything so that's good so if, these are very important stuff. So again, the transaction code here also, you can put a user's log created for this user ID and all those things. So this is very helpful. Okay, the transaction code <clears throat> again is, I'll mention it in the description. The transaction code uh, in the new system in S4 HANA and all the, all the fury is a little nasty. So this is the one and I'll mention it for sure. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and have a great day.